Moving on, a standoff is brewing between the government and principals of public schools over management of billions of shillings disbursed to schools. A circular by Basic Education Principal Secretary Belio Kipsang on the release of free day secondary education funds for third term has directed all county directors of education to demand accountability of the money disbursed. Teachers' unions have protested the directive, arguing the government is demanding for accountability of what has not been released to schools. Shadrach Miti with that story. The circular dated September 19th and addressed to all county directors of education by Basic Education Principal Secretary Belio Kipsang on the release of free day secondary education for term three is causing jitters among school principals. According to the letter, allocation per student is 4,002 shillings. Accordingly, the Minister of Education has also remitted to KICD and Semestaya 100 shillings and 40 shillings per learner to cater for textbooks and capacity building, respectively, from the tuition account. Another 650 shillings per learner has been remitted to the NHIF from the operations account to cater for medical insurance. And to further show its intention to tighten the news and ensure accountability, the Minister of Education has demanded that school principals issue official school receipt to the principal sector for basic education, covering both tuition and operation accounts. Under the Public Financial Management Act and school financial regulations, principals and accounts only account for funds received and used by their institutions, where the government spends funds on behalf of schools, accountability for such expenditures lies with the Ministry of Education and the recipient agencies, not secondary schools. Kenya Union of Post-Primary Education Teachers, COPET, has protested the directive, arguing the government is demanding for accountability from teachers over funds they did not receive. The union is particularly questioning why the Minister of Education is demanding that principals acknowledge receipt of 4,002 shillings per lana for the third term of 2023 when only 3,187 shillings per lana was remitted to schools. Ministry of Schools, Kenya shillings 105 per lana for the last financial year that ended on 30th June 2023. Nine CO schools are further 5,561 per lana for the first quarter of the current financial year. Cumulatively, this comes to approximately 19 billion that schools are yet to receive. While the letter by Education Principal Secretary Dr. Bailo Kipsang says the Minister of Education has released free day secondary education funds for term 3 of 2023, principals insist the money is released on September 19th, partially offset the arrears owed from the last financial year of 2022-2023. For the avoidance of doubt, information from principals indicates that schools have not received any capitation funds for third term of 2023. The 3,187 remitted on 19th September partially offset the arrears owed from the last financial year 2022-2023. The government is demanding that principals must have individual students sign form lists that show their admission numbers, full names and full amount awarded to every learner. Instructively, the principals have two weeks to complete the exercise, failure to which release of grants to the schools will be suspended or completely miss out on the free day secondary education disbursements. Shadrach Miti, KT News.